So, data is of following types, one is the cross sectional data, <coughs> longitudinal data. Any idea about that? Correct. So, time is very important element. So, it is about the over the period of time. No time element is present or the data is collected at one go. Just look for, for an example. If I start noting everybody's age, what is your age, what is your age like this. His age has anything to do with her age? No this is called independent ok. This is the cross sectional, cross sectional is a word from mathematics length into breadth. So, you take large number of people at one particular moment, now moment should not be taken as uh, ok 12, 11, now I am taking the data. It means one month, one year not, not over a period of time. As against if I note down her weight when she was 3 years old, 5 years old, 7, 9, 11 years old. So, at the age of 11 her weight it has something to do with the 9? It has something to do with again her weight, yes it is called a dependent. So, longitudinal data is the same thing is observed over a period of time. If you take one company's earning per share for the last 10 years, longitudinal data. If you take 10 companies and their APS today, that is a cross sectional data. Am I clear between the two? Let me say it again. If you take a bank and some indicators of the bank, one indicator of the bank for last 5 years profit. Now, profit for the next year will do something with this year plus or minus, plus or minus either it will go up or down. So, for a long, longer time period, period if you take that is called longitudinal static is 10 banks and their profit today. So, one bank has it something to do with the other bank? Not really right. So, that is a cross sectional data. People of HR, marketing, social science mostly work on the cross sectional data. So, we simply go to the market, we take customers, we take their data that is called cross sectional data and people of finance mostly work on the longitudinal data. We take patterns, we try to understand what is going on. My understanding is on every Friday and every Monday market behaves, stock market behaves differently. I must take not two rather maybe 20, 30, 100 Mondays and then observe the behavior. So, it is a longitudinal data. Longitudinal data can further be divided into two. If you take only one variable, it is called time series data. One variable earning per share, share per, for the last 10 years, that is time series data. So, one variable is time and other is one simple variable. If I will note down her weight from for last 10 years, so that is time series data. And when along with weight I note not down certain other things that is called the panel data. If I will note down her height, her weight that is a panel data or the last one. If I will note down banks, do you understand it simply just a summation of time series becomes panel data. Time series is one variable, panel data is many variables for a longer time period. Then people say there is something called the pool data also. Pool data is when you take or data on summary basis. Summary basis is if I will take earning per share and any sort of other ratio for last 4 years. Now, 4 years means 365 into 4 days, 365 into 4. So, it is a panel data. I noted down earning per share for the last 4 years, there is no ratio. 4 years means 365 days into 4, this much it is a long data. So, it is a I will call it as a time series data. If I will note down the earning per share ratio some other things, it is a panel data. Now, further what I will do of this, this much data I will take monthly data, quarterly data. It will not be a daily data, it will be monthly data, quarterly data, half yearly or that data, that will be called as the pool data. So, what it can be noted in panel data also? That is what I am saying. If you take data on summary basis, it say people call it as pool data. So, statistical tool techniques are same almost. Okay. Well, my reach to this is only up to this. <laughs> I want to go further because this is not my area. So, this is what my 
friends and people have told me the difference between these. What I am concerned is SPSS works here, the software for this is eViews. Correct. So, the panel and the pool data, it is the eView software. So, there are many workshops that are conducted on eViews only, and this is for SPSS statistical package. So, when we talk about SPSS, do you understand what I am talking about? I am saying I will talk more of the descriptive research and cross sectional data. You understand it? It is like when you see the Google map, you see entire India, then you zoom into Delhi, then you zoom into Jamia, then you zoom into the particular building. That is why I am telling you where we are. So, look for when I uh, use the term regression here, it is basically the OLS regression, ordinary least square regression. I will talk about it. The regression used here is called as panel data regression. The regression used here is panel data regression and this is called ordinary least square regression. The problem with the YouTube video is they won't tell you <laughs> entire story. On the YouTube videos you will find panel data regression. Now you must know which video you should look for this video or that video or whatever. You must know all these conceptual things. Sir, what is that? Ordinary least square that we will talk in detail cross sectional data. Now, you understand where is it? It is descriptive study cross sectional data we use the ordinary least square. List square. Now, you tell me. Yeah, it is a panel data. It is a panel data. If you do not take the time element, five companies their one year data it is a cross sectional data yes. if five companies and seven years it is a panel data yes. correct sir yeah uh, well, uh, in the sciences data uh, we used to analyze the OLS as well as various correct now the beautiful thing is we will study regression and we will come to know why it is OLS and why panel you, you remember that people say that my grandfather had three brothers, one went to Canada in 1960s and one went to South Africa. Now, looking in 2000 it appears one is in South Africa, one is but at some time all were related. Basically, something happened that is why a new thing is there. I always ask my students to go always keep this with them. When there is arithmetic mean, why you should study median? Why at all? You know what is wrong with this mean? Something must have missed there that is why mean. Then people said no, no even mean and median then there is a mode, then there is a geometric mean, then there is a harmonic mean. So, we must understand why the other things were where they were lacking and then you need to remember that when you understand that concept you say okay, I got it. So, the people who use panel data can also apply OLS regression provided certain conditions are there. We will talk about that is common sense things. Are you with, with me so far? Language is okay, yes, clear. Uh, in all the workshops, when we take feedback, one of my consistent feedback is speed is very fast. So, well, I can't do about it, but uh, you can ask as many questions. You can stop me. My remote is with you. Uh, no, no, I'm not saying only e-views. I'm saying e-views is mainly the software. Not really. There are certain provisions, but not that effective. But I got one point, friend. E-views was made made later on. First, there was a concept. So you should ask me. Can I do it with calculator? Yes. We can do it calculator because somebody has done it. Only then the software was made. So, there are many resource persons who say we won't use this, even I do not prefer SPSS. Why? I prefer Excel. Excel you really understand what is going on. You know you remember that you change one thing here, it change will be here, it is not available anywhere else. The point is SPSS, use SPSS where it is really powers are. Like uh, uh, one of uh, I think it was Shafiq sir was saying, you should use the latest one, absolutely you should use the latest 
when going for the higher ends it is something like if you have to do 3 into 4 which calculator is best Casio F X 27 D or E having the 5 memory etcetera what is your work 3 into 4 so that 50 rupees calculator will do is not it if you do the standard aviation put it into memory then do the underwood then find out the inverse of the hypergeometric then obviously that is required. So, what is your work like t test ANOVA regression for my personal use I use SPSS 11 version why it is very fast by the time you will open 18 or 20 you will do the calculations output will be with you it is very fast but very limited. So, ultimately software is not important the thing is what we do and why we do two concepts are over uh, I do not know it is matched to a schedule or not, but at the end of the second day everything will match to a schedule. Okay. So, I may go here and there you know I am a big uh, fan of uh, Harry Potter movies and uh, in the eighth part you will come to know okay, what exactly why he was saying such in the first part <laughs> is not it. So, sometimes it is flashback sometimes in next one. So, Haphazard, it appears as the haphazard, but uh, it's okay. So, any doubts so far? Because now I require your attention. Should we take a break? Yes. Let's take a short break. Reason being, next I will talk with the objectivized analysis, and that's the most important thing, even more important than regression and t-test. Objectivized analysis: how to choose a variable from the objective. Looking at a objective, how people tell you apply cross tab here, you apply regression here. How they tell it? Will you be interested in knowing these things? Yes. Means if you say no, no, just tell a t test, I will start with the t test. If you say just looking at the objective, and more important is how to frame objectives that will take. So, take a short break, 2 minutes break, just refresh yourself, take fresh oxygen, and then we will start after 2 3 minutes.